Question 1. What's Siebel? Answer. Siebel is the leading provider of customer relationship management CRM software. Question 2. What difference between fields and single value fields? Answer. Multi value field has the child values from a child BC for the parent record configured through MVL. Single value field will be either from the base table or joint table. The difference between single value field SVF and multi value field MVF are SVF a field in BC which references a column in a table, MVF a field in parent BC which references a field in child BC. Field identity and defines a field in a business component. All fields making up a business component record contain entries from both single value field and multi value field object types. Question 3. What is the difference between 1s to 1 and 1m extension tables? Answer. 1s to 1 extension table is like an extension to the base table. If we do not have the required table space in the base table for creating new extension columns, we will use the 1s to 1 extension tables columns using an implicit join. In contrast, 1m extension tables are used for parent-child relationship with the base table, where the 1m extension has only related to the base table. Question 4. What is localization? Answer. Modify the object definitions in the local repository. Question 5. What is different between bounded and unbounded picklist? Answer. We can enter free text in case of unbounded picklist, but in case of bounded picklist we cannot enter free text. Question 6. Dynamic picklist is used to update join fields. How? Answer. Actually we cannot modify the join fields. We cannot do any modifications and updations on that fields. To do these things we create the dynamic picklist or picaplet. Dynamic picklist to modify, to enter new records, in the join fields. Question 7. How to create drill down in form applet? Answer. Usually drill downs will be in list applets only. But in Siebel 6 there are drill downs on form applets also. But these are not similar to those in list applets. In order to go to the target view we need to right click on the applet. On the menu shown we can find the available drill downs with title as go to XYZ view. Question 8. What is detailed category and what is its use in configuration? Answer. Detailed category and aggregate category are the two different sets. You can add a view to a screen under detailed category or an aggregate category. For example, if I am creating two views as detailed views. First I need to create a detailed category. Then I have to create two detailed views for which the category property must be specified with the created detailed category name. This is same for aggregate views also. Question 9. What is constraint picklist? Where you will drop the constraints? Answer. Constrainted picklist displayed value based on constraint used. Add field to constraint in pickmap of a field where picklist has configured in BC and set constraint option of added field to true. Question 10. How will you edit the join fields values in join? Answer. Using picklists and MVGs. MVGs require join field and link as prerequisites unlike picklists where just a join is enough. Question 11. How will you improve your performance in views? Answer. The basic factors for performance decrease in views will be more number of applets, which led to many links, and more join fields in a single applet. MVGs which do not have the primaries set. Question 12. What is Virtual BC? What is the use of VBC? Answer. Virtual Business Component is used to display the data from another legacy database table in the Siebel screen. Question 13. What is Siebel File System? Answer. It is a shared directory that stores compressed files used by Siebel applications. Examples, product literature, sales tools, presentations read, write access is controlled by the File System Manager component on Siebel server. Question 14. How is Siebel 7x architecture different from Siebel 6x? Answer. In Siebel 7x it was defined as physical user interface, logical user interface, business layer, data layer, third party RDMs. The main difference is, in Siebel 6x official interface was not achieved. In physical interface includes web templates, CSS sheets. Question 15. How is load balancing maintained in Siebel? Answer. Load balancing is maintained by the gateway server using the third-party software Resonate Central Dispatch.
Question 16. What is Resonate? Answer. Resonate is third-party software development tool, which is used for distributing the client request to the least laden Siebel server. Question 17. What is Name Server? What does it do? Answer. Name Server is the part of Gateway Server that dynamically registers all servers in enterprise, serves a connection broker across the enterprise. Question 18. Is it required to install Gateway Server before installing a Siebel Server? Answer. Yes, because one Gateway Server can have multiple Siebel Servers. Question 19. What is the use of catch in a script? Answer. The catch clause is used to handle the exception. To raise an exception, use the throw statement. When you want to trap potential errors generated by a block of code, place that code in a try statement, and follow the try statement with a catch statement. The catch statement is used to process the exceptions that may occur in the manner you specify in the exception underscore handling underscore block. Question 20. Why is it not recommended to modify existing base tables? Answer. During upgradation it will cause problem if we extend base tables. Moreover if it is necessary you can go for extension tables.